Okay, so let's get into some logic and reasoning why uh, following Christ is the true path. So the people that say, you know, religion start all wars. Without religion, there would be no wars. False. Stalinist Russia, Nazi Germany, plus China, and many others were both atheist regimes and likely murdered more people in a decade than Islam and Christianity did in a millennium. And remember, the Catholic Crusades kept Catholicism's false Christianity, so you can't even really lump them with true Christians. And here's a list of atheist, communist, and uh, fascism regimes over the years that have killed over 100 million people. And these, these numbers are probably lesser than what they actually are, unfortunately. So yeah, it's the godless that kills people the most, by far. So here's Alice Bailey. She was one of the main creators and founders of the New Age movement. And uh, she is a part of the starting the Lucifer Trust. It was originally called the Lucifer Trust. Now it's called the Lucis Trust nowadays. And she was uh, channeling DK, some Tibetan master who was probably a fallen angel demon that was giving her all the plans of the New World Order and what have you and all these philosophies. And here's some quotes. When you are changing a nation, don't bother with the old people. They are too stuck in the old traditions. They will not change, but go for the children. Creator of the Lucifer Trust. It's now known as the Lucis Trust. They had to change it because it's just too obvious. People will start knowing their schemes. That's why it's so important to study to show thyself approved. And even with the, uh, we got to know the enemy schemes as well. So we don't get caught in all these false doctrines and false religions for they are many. There's only one true path. Satan has a ton of counterfeits. So here's Satan's lie to Adam and Eve. God's word isn't reliable from Genesis. You will not die. He said, surely you will not die. You will be like God. And then here's new age and Eastern deception, which is actually old age. The Bible isn't God's word. We will live forever, reincarnate. We are gods and goddesses. So they always, they always try to get the self-enlightenment path to be like God or, or saying that they're the gods. It's completely false. And here's a, a little bit about Islam and their symbolism, crescent, moon, and star, the signs of Venus, Ishtar, and Lucifer. You gotta pay attention to the symbols in the world. There's a saying that symbols rule the world, not, uh, not words, but symbols rule the world. The crescent moon was originally the symbol of Hubal, the moon god worshiped by pagans in the Kaaba. It has been claimed that it was not until the Ottoman Empire that, that the crescent moon and star became affiliated with the Muslim world. When the Turks conquered Constantinople, Constantinople, and Istanbul, and they adopted the city's existing flag and symbol, so yeah, the, these symbols aren't an accident. Crescent, moon, moon god worship, sun god worship. It's the pagan Babylon, uh, the Kaaba in, in Mecca, and Tefillin cube share remarkable similarities. And that's the Juda Judaism cube and Islam cube. And this is like the cube of Saturn, satanic stuff. Saturnalia, you know, all kind of uh, sick sacrificial traditions. But most uh, Muslims... And Jews are not aware of it, probably. They don't really know what they're into. So I hope this wakes them up. I love my, my brothers and sisters, all of them. The black cube of Saturn. See, this is the Freemason shrine. And we all know that Freemasonry is Luciferians at the top of the, the high-level degrees. Satan worshippers. The low levels don't even have any clue. And then the golden dawn, Aleister Crowley, a known Satanist. And here's some around the world. Australia, Denmark, Manhattan, Santa Ana. Global cult worship. You know, this is big money. These are people with big money with all this black cube, Saturn, Saturnalia, Satan worshiping. So we have to really pay attention to what, what they're doing. They don't spend their money for nothing. And then here's uh, the, the Catholicism. Mother Mary is actually the queen of heaven. Aphrodite, Isis, Ishtar. It's the same moon goddess. So Catholicism is actually pagan Babylon. Uh, disguised as Christianity. It's a false religion. If you're in Catholicism, please study and pray about it and get out of that as soon as you can. And pagan god and Isis with horse the child, Roman Catholic Mary with the child, and it goes on and on with the same birth dates. You know, the, the uh, old documentary Zeitgeist, which has a lot of half-truths in there, covers this quite well, but they lump Christianity as a false religion when it's actually Catholicism is the false religion. And Trinity's false by definition. I have a video about that for any naysayers. And then here you have uh, Nimrod, Tammuz, Shem, and of course the Pope. They have the same symbolism. Saturn, Moloch, Baal, Tammuz. It's the same 
pagan Babylon traditions. Islam's fallen for it, Catholicism, Judaism's all fallen for the, the pagan Babylon ways. And here's Pope Francis, in a, an, an imam from uh, Islam, basically kissing. I mean, what is that? Who does that? So here's a verse from the Bible. For the time will come when they will not endure sound doctrine, but after their own lust shall they heap to themselves teachers having itching ears, and they shall turn away their ears from the truth and shall be turned into fables. So you see there's so many false teachers, false religions, false doctrines people are falling for. There's only one true word of God. It's the Holy Bible. KJV, King James Version is the best one. It feeds your spirit literally is what God showed me in the dream. So here's uh, the founder of, of one of the satanic groups. Satan has been the best friend of the church he has ever had. He has kept it in business in all these years. He's talking about the Catholic church and the false, do, uh, false denominations, which are many. And here's Jay-Z, John Lennon, Aleister Crowley, and Levy. Do what thou wilt. That's the satanic way. Do whatever you want, basically. And of course, uh, the Beatles disguise it as peace. Like, oh, do whatever you want as long as you're not hurting anybody. But it, it's a uh, deception. And there's Aleister uh, Crowley on the Beatles cover. And here's Albert Pike, 33 degree, uh, 33 degree Freemason. Lucifer the light bearer, strange and mysterious name given in the spirit of darkness. Lucifer the son of the morning. It is he who bears the light, doubt it not. And this, he was a southern general in the Civil War. 33rd degree, the highest ranking Mason. Known Luciferian, Satan worshiper. Here he is again. That which we must say to the crowd is, we worship a God, but it is a God that one adores without superstition. To you, sovereign grand inspectors general, we say this, that you may repeat it to the brethren in the 32nd, 31st, and 30th degrees. The Masonic religion should be by all of us initiates to the high degrees, maintaining the purity of the Luciferian doctrine. If Lucifer were not God, would Adonai, Jesus, Columbia, spread false and harmful statements about him? Yes, Lucifer is God. That's Satan. He's not God. He's the false God, the, the kingdom of darkness God, which has no power over Jesus Christ whatsoever. He's on a leash, and he's already defeated at the cross. Here's a quote from a, a UN worker. No one will enter the New World Order unless he or she will make a pledge to worship Lucifer. No one will enter the New Age unless he will take a Luciferian initiation. Then talks about the mark of the beast below. And here's Bill Gates. He, uh, you know, event 201 predicting this pandemic that, that happened with the corona back in 2019. Okay, it was a plan all along. Most people know that by now. So event 201, this is back in October 2019, they did a uh, war game simulation of the coronavirus. And they actually said it's going to kill a lot more people. And they're the ones who funded it as well. And then here's the World Economic Forum, which was part of event 201. And they're all about getting rid of capitalism or replacing it with communism. And it says, you owe nothing and you'll be happy. Happy, happy, joy, joy. You see what these people are doing? They're, it's all admitted. This is not nothing secret. It's no conspiracy theory. It's fact. It's the plans of the New World Order that was prophesied in the Bible thousands of years ago. That's all happening today. One world government, the United Nations. One world currency, Bitcoin, digital currency that's coming, trying to get rid of the dollar. One world religion, ecumenism, Chrislam, uh, you know, the Pope uniting with Islam and the New Age movement. It's all false. It's all deception. It's all been written about thousands of years ago in the Bible, and it's all coming true. It just proves that the authenticity of the Bible. Ecumenism is the union of different faiths and religions which seem to be a plan of Satan to prepare the world to receive the Antichrist. It is the yoking up with demons. It is the lie that all paths lead to God. This is relativism. Unity at the expense of truth is a deception from the enemy. Salvation cannot be found in any Hindu God, Buddha, Hindu God, Buddha Allah, Shaman, a Mormon, Jesus, or self, but only in the Lord Jesus Christ of the Bible. Jesus, he was either telling the truth or lying when he said he's the way, the truth, and life, and no man comes to the Father by him. Scriptures warn about preaching of another gospel and another Jesus. So there's that coexist sticker you might see on a lot of bumper stickers. Jesus, is the, he said, I'm the way and the truth and the life. No one comes to the Father except through me. It's the only path. And if someone hasn't heard of Jesus far in a corner of the world, God will judge them accordingly. But if you've heard the gospel, you're going to be held accountable. So here's the Bible warning us that now the Spirit speaketh expressly that in the latter times, the end times, some shall depart from the faith, giving heed to seducing spirits and doctrines of devils, such as the New Age and all the false religions. For we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, against the rulers of the darkness of this world, against spiritual wickedness in high places. Wherefore, take unto you the whole armor of God, that you may be able to withstand the evil day, and having done all to stand. So you, we're not really facing people. We're, we're facing spirits inside of people. There's a lot of people that have demonic oppression, and they don't even realize it. These demons can take hold of people. I've, I've cast out demons myself. All glory to God. I have told you these things so that in, in me you may have peace. In this world you will have trouble, but take heart. I have overcome the world. So when you have Jesus Christ, you really have peace because you know that you know where you're going after this life. 
Jesus said unto him, Thou shalt love the Lord thy God with all thy heart, and with all thy soul, and with all thy mind. This is the first and great commandment, and the second is like unto it. Thou shalt love thy neighbor as thyself. On these two commandments hang all the law and the prophets. So really that's the main laws that we have to keep, not 613 Mosaic laws anymore. Since Jesus Christ is here, love God and love your neighbor. And of course we have to repent from sins and live, live a holiness standard of life. But we can repent daily. For the wages of sin is death, but the gift of God is eternal life through Jesus Christ our Lord. So sin leads to death. Sin, sin leads to opening up uh, the door for the devil to control your life and, and to uh, bring about d demonic uh, oppression, depression, uh, suicidal. All those come from the demons. For unto us a child is born, unto us a son is given, and his name will be called Wonderful Counselor, Mighty God, Everlasting Father, the Prince of Peace. And Jesus is the Prince of Peace. Jesus is God in the flesh. Uh, the Holy Ghost, the Father, and the Son is three manifestations of one, but it's not a trinity. We know also that the Son of God has come and given us understanding so that we may know Him and who is true. And we are in Him who is true by being in His Son, Jesus Christ. He is the true God and eternal life. And I have other videos on my, on my uh, playlist uh, concerning these matters if, for anybody that wants to learn more. For as many as are led by the Spirit of God, they are the sons of God. So when you accept Christ, you get the Holy Spirit. And the Holy Spirit is the Holy Spirit of truth, and he leads you into all truths. But the Comforter, which is the Holy Ghost, same as the Holy Spirit, whom the Father will send in my name, he shall teach you all things and bring all things to your remembrance, whatsoever I have said unto you. So you, so people don't understand the Bible because they don't have the Holy Spirit. You have to pray before you read, and he'll teach you all things. And then here we are in the seventh generation, the crazy horse from the Lakota tribe prophesied about. Upon suffering beyond suffering, the red nation shall rise again, and it shall be a blessing for a sick world, a world filled with broken promises, selfishness, and separation, a world uh, longing for light again. I see a time of seven generations where all the colors of mankind will gather into the sacred tree of life, and the whole earth will become one circle again. And the tree of life is uh, it's in the Bible, and uh, Jesus is also known as the tree of life. In the seventh generation, we are in now. Uh, Crazy Horse prophesied this back in the 1800s, and this is the seventh generation from that time, according to their uh, generational timeline. So all tribes of the earth are going to come unite on the tree of life, and this is when uh, the return of Jesus Christ is, the thousand-year millennial reign, which is probably less than 20 years away. We are in the end times. And uh, even Nike has a seventh generation line, so we are definitely in the seventh generation. Um, one of my good friends is... Uh, He's one of the chiefs of the Lakota tribe. And when I was researching, this was back when I was into the New Age in 2015, in the smallest town in Colorado in the middle of nowhere, Mountain Town, I was just studying about Crazy Horse and the Rainbow Warriors in the seventh generation. I thought it was so interesting, and it really hit home. And I'm part uh, Cherokee, as everyone else claims, but I actually am. And uh, so Crazy Horse's great-great-grandsons, came to my door a week after I was just studying about the seventh generation. In the middle of nowhere in Colorado, he, they came with a friend, showed up at my doorstep. If that's not God, then I don't know what is. But anyways, guys, yeah, I have a ton of other stories to tell you of supernatural things that happen. God will speak to you. He can speak to you audibly. The more you, uh, the more you seek God, the closer he comes to you, the more he'll, he'll seek you. It's through Jesus Christ. He's the only way. He's the best thing that ever happened in my life by far. It's, it's the only thing that can fill the void in our hearts. When you repent and, and come to him, you'll get filled with the Holy Spirit. He'll, he'll baptize you with the Holy Spirit fire. You will feel his presence. God will show up to you in a way that you will know it's him for sure. But we have to be humble and we have to seek him with, you know, with a hungry and humble heart. And I promise you that he will show up to you. Do not fall for Satan's devices with all these false religions and false teachings, this new age garbage. Seek God yourself, okay? Don't trust anything that I'm telling you or any, what anyone's telling you. Seek God yourself. Seek and ye shall find. The truth will make you free. And Jesus Christ is that way. I love y'all so much. Thanks for making it this far. Uh, let me know if you have any questions. And, uh, you know, if, if you're in disagreement... Ask Jesus Christ if he's real in, in, in your private closet with a humble heart and see what happens. I love y'all so much. Y'all take care. God bless y'all. We're in the end times. And Jesus, he'll bless you so much. He will change your life. I'm a, I'm a new creature in, in Christ. All the filth and all the sins, all the old lifestyle is gone through the power of the Holy Ghost. Praise God. Hallelujah. God bless y'all in Jesus' name. Peace.